trying to find out the pain points and solving the pain points in your niche. And that, because that's what your audience is going to want to put their, that's what they're going to want to find out. Okay. The number so, one mistake influencers make is uh, not making an email list and, and creating an email list and curating an email list and scrubbing it and keeping it up to date and utilizing it to control their audience and keep their audience off platform. So you, no matter if you're on YouTube, Instagram, you, uh, TikTok, Amazon, wherever you are, you have an offsite presence where you can reach your audience. If, so if you ever got shut down on Amazon or if you ever got suspended from Facebook or if you ever got shut down from YouTube, you have an email list where you can still reach out to your customers, okay? So we're gonna do that. The number, the number one question I get is, What's a lead magnet? What can I possibly give away? So what's a lead magnet? A lead magnet is something that's valuable that people are going to put their email in in order to get it. So like, uh, all depends on the niche. We're going to talk about shopping, right? So we're going to talk about Amazon shopping. So we're going to use ChatGPT. Okay, we're going to use ChatGPT to find out what we should do. We're just going to ask it a bunch of questions and we're going to find out. So bear with my typing, okay? So we're going to be, uh, I need a lead magnet for Amazon shoppers. Okay, so I want to go over quickly the questions that I asked ChatGPT. So the first question was, I need to create a lead magnet for a blank. I said, Amazon shoppers, give me 10 pain points for shopping on Amazon. So they said, sure, here are 10 potential pain points. And they gave me 10. All right. Now, I like the fake review one, right? Okay, great job. I like number two. What are some lead magnet ideas for this? And they gave me some lead magnet ideas. Certainly, here are some lead magnet ideas. For pain. So a guide to spotting fake reviews. I like that, right? But they give you a bunch of ones. So, okay, thank you. Nice job. I like number one. I want to create a detailed five-step plan to help solve number one. You're welcome. I'm glad you found it. I feel helpful. Now, I'm being nice. I say thank you. I say great job, right? I don't know if it helps, but you want, you want, you you know, it's, it's, it's artificial intelligence. I don't know if complimenting it makes a difference, but I'm getting good results. So now I've got headlines here and bullet points and, and descriptions of a five-step plan to help Amazon shoppers spot fake reviews. All right. Now, and I said, well, write five point list on how to spot fake Google in a Google review. So now they narrowed it down. So I would have a Google review. All right. So I can just copy and paste this into a Google document. All right. And then what type of social media images will work best. So now they're going to tell me what images I can use in my lead magnet that would match the, the, t the text. Okay. Okay. That's perfect. And they give me a headline, a sub headline. All right. So, okay. Thanks. Perfect. Write me an opt-in page lead magnet, include compelling headlines, subheading benefit bullet points in the ways it gives you every, here it is. Boom. Headline, sub headline benefits, opt-in form button, get into this access notes, images on everything here that you need. Uh, and then you just go over to Google and here it is. I made it real quick in, in Google documents. Here it is, five points. Unlock the truth, your guide to spotting fake video reviews and making informed purchases on Amazon. Very easy. You just have to ask ChatGPT the right questions. Now you're gonna take this, you're gonna save this as a PDF document and you're gonna use this in your, in your lead capture page. And when they put their email in, you're going to send them this automatically with through the autoresponder. And I told you, you know, and if, if we use, if you're using builder role, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that using their autoresponder tool it happens automatically. They order, and you can set it up that they send, send them email after email for a whole month. You never have to do another thing. It's automatically going to send them sales emails every week for a month for as long as you want. You can set it up as autoresponder forever. All right. Hope that helped. Leave a comment. Let me know what else you need to know. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to do a video specifically on any part you're having problems with.